Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Parker back with another video. Today is Wednesday, June 12th, and for the next three to four days, I will be attending New Balance Outdoor Nationals. This year, I'm doing the 100, 200, and long jump. It's currently 11.38 and right now I am just packing all my stuff up so I can get ready to leave in a few hours. Before I continue, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I post a new video. Let's get started. So as I pack, I'm gonna do a speed run of everything that I'm bringing. First off, I'm bringing this blue Under Armour duffel bag. First up is the green uniform top, green uniform bottoms, Blue uniform top, blue uniform bottoms, white uniform top, and white uniform bottoms. Next I have warm up shirts. Here's the dark blue warm up, white warm up, long sleeve warm up, white long sleeve warm up. Lastly I have two sets of pants. Here are the sweatpants. And here are the leggings. Here are some other socks to warm up in. Here's my toiletry bag. It has most of my essentials, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, anything you can think of. The first thing I'll be putting in here is my long jump spikes. The next thing that will be going here are my running spikes. Next up are my trainers. I don't know what they're called. It looks like it says Rebel on the side, but the next thing I'm bringing is tape. It might seem like a lot, but jumpers, triple and long, like to use tape to measure where their mark is on the runway. And so you always wanna be prepared and make sure you have some. Last but certainly not least, I'll be packing Bobby the Beef Patty. This is my good luck charm I got from a friend of mine, Brooklyn. Shout out to her. Now that both of my bags are packed, I'm gonna go ahead and finish some stuff up so I can be completely done and get ready to leave. For example, I have some clothes that I need to finish folding. And then I think I wanna make sure my room and my bathroom are all tidied up so that when I get back, I don't have to worry about all that. So now I am an upcoming ninth grader. I have some photos on my Instagram of my graduation. I also want to show you guys my nails. I did these myself. I also got some henna at my end of the year track party. Also, if you're interested in chunky phone cases like this and you're in the DMV area, go check out Sole Russell on Instagram and go ahead and subscribe to her YouTube while you're at it. Hey guys, so last time we talked, I was doing my laundry and my phone ended up dying, so I was just letting it charge. Currently 3.30, so about in an hour or so, we'll probably hit the road, and when that happens, I will check back in with you guys later. Hey guys, so we just arrived to the Airbnb. It's currently 10 o'clock, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my shower and get ready for bed. And I will talk to y'all in the morning. getting ready to pick up my packet. Right now, I'm gonna put on these foot pants. Next, I'm gonna put this shoe on. Hi, Prince. 
Texas. What I'm ready, the plan is to go to the track and check in. After, we're gonna head and grab some breakfast. Rest down for a bit, cause I don't run until three. And probably around 12, head back to the track so that I can get ready for the prelims and the finals. Hey guys, so I've been sitting in the bed for about an hour and a half and I just wanted to hop back on here because we are about to leave soon but I want to show you that I ended up getting the green bag. I also wanted to show you guys my pamphlet. This has my name on it and inside I have my bib, safety pins, my wrist um, band, and then this is my coach's wristband because I do long jump. There's a square by the long jump pit for coaches to stand and give their athletes like advice for the next jump. And so this will be for my coach right now to go put my uniform on and then also my other shirt so that I stay warm before and after my races. And I will talk to y'all when I get to the track. Hey guys, so right now I am under the tent. I'm watching the meet on my iPad. I'm here with Tatum. Hi Tatum. Hey. <laughs> okay, and then I'm also here with Coach John. So yeah, I'm getting ready to run the 100 prelims and then in about three hours after that, I will do the finals. But yeah, talk to y'all later. Really strong start there. The Rebolus athlete, that's Parker Coase. 1194. No more Skylar Cunningham. This is the Parker Co show now in the middle school girls 100. Hey guys, so I just finished the prelims. New PR. So originally it said 1188, which would have been really good, but then they changed it to 1194, which is still like pretty good. But I really wanted the 1188. <laughs> Right now, Coach John and I are heading back to the warm-up area so I can get ready for the finals because it turns out three hours is not actually three hours and it's much sooner than that. So yeah, but I will see you all back on the track. I just finished my warm up for the finals. I'm gonna drink some water plus liquid IV powder. This is the flavor lemon lime. After, I'm gonna roll both my foots out with this lacrosse ball so that my foot are free of any knots you might have. You too. We just saw her break the record. She just broke the new record. Hey guys, so I just finished an acceleration off camera because I need to save some storage. But right now I am packing up to head back over to the track and get ready to run the finals. So, see you there. 
And from that powerhouse Bullis contingent is Parker Coase. Short, that meet record of Parker Coes from Maryland in lane five, 1194, may be in serious jeopardy. Always the hardest part of the race, I think, right here, just getting set right at the start line, calming your nerves, making sure you've told yourself a number of times that you can do it, you gotta believe in yourself. And we're away cleanly in lane five. Parker Coase got out to a very nice start. Coase is in the all blue. And Coase coming in, and it's a runaway. Parker Coase, meet record 1187. Olivia Ockpin second in 12 12. <coughs> and Bullis does it again. Well, these kids really know how to live it up and to show the camera how excited they are. I love it at this young age. They're not afraid. You know, cameras are in your face a lot more than they used to be. And it was so fun to see Parker Coase get out of the blocks hard and just charging. You know, so much power goes into that start. And if you get a good one, you got to go with it. And she has had a phenomenal weekend already and, and just an awesome race there. Okay, well, we've got an interview with our young lady, from Bullis down there with Michael Twist. I'm here with I'm here with Park. I'm here with Parker Coes of Maryland. Who ran 11.94 for a meet record in the prelim and 11.87 for another meet record in the final. Parker, talk to me. What is it like to run for such a historic sprint program? So I like to say we're not just a team, we're a family. And even though we work so hard on the track, we do other things outside of track that make us closer and also push us to be better. Absolutely, the team is the family. What's it mean to become national champion and meet record holder? So many of you might not know, but last year I got third. And I really love winning and hate losing. So to come in first, PR, and get a new meet record, I mean, who doesn't want that? Absolutely. Your national champion and meet record holder, Parker Coase, 11.87. Thank you, Michael, and thank you, Parker. Very mature young uh, lady, and I think she makes a very good point that um, what helps to drive a lot of these Bullis athletes is not just having the competition and and camaraderie on the track but also what happens off the track carry and you can speak to that. miles split here with parker coes of maryland after uh winning the middle school girls 100 meter dash setting a new meet record of 11.87 parker what's going through your head right now after setting the meet record and uh winning the national title um i'm just really impressed with myself because personally i just wanted to come and enjoy race my competitors and have fun but to get a new meet record, PR and all that, it's amazing. So um, you hit the PR um, and you were just telling me that you're racing the uh, 200 as well as competing in the long jump yes. tomorrow um, or this weekend. Where are your like, kind of eyes set and your goals with these uh, other events coming up? So right now my PRs are 24-7 in the 200 and 18-11 in the long jump. My long jump coach for the past two years has been telling me I need to break 20, and so of course I want to do that. But anything like to give me a PR or even 18-11 will be great. Same thing with the 200, supposed to be low 24, high 23 hopefully. So anything I can get, truly. I just want to thank my coaches for giving me the opportunity to run these times on this track in front of everybody. And so um, being at this national championship meet um, and competing in three different events, how are you uh, preparing yourself both physically and mentally for uh, so many times like where you're going to compete this weekend? It truly is nutrition, workouts, water intake. I am guilty about that last one. But making sure I'm eating the right things, moving my body at all times, not just sitting down. My dad likes to say there's no such thing as a zero day. So even if I necessarily don't have practice or if I don't have a workout, I need to be stretching, moving my body, doing something to help me become a better athlete than I already am. 
Well, congratulations on winning the title in the 100 and best of luck the rest of the weekend. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm back. So as you just saw, I have the new meet record in the 100 for middle school. And here's the medal. Yeah, it's gold. Everyone's is gold, so. But it's okay. Now my parents are inside getting food and then we're gonna head back to the Airbnb. Honestly, I give today 10 out of 10, you know, new meet record, new PR, you know, the use. But no, I'm really thankful to all my coaches, my parents, God, like everyone who has given me the opportunity to do this. Like, I just appreciate them so much. I also appreciate my teammates who push me to be a better person. And literally anyone I've run with, like you guys all push me to be a better person. And for that, I thank you guys. That is the update. Tomorrow I have the 200 pre-woods. <sighs> Anyhow, I have the 200 prelims and I also have the long jump tomorrow, so fingers crossed for 20 feet. But I will talk with you guys later when I am back at the Airbnb. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm so ready for bed. It is currently 11 o'clock and I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in. I know I haven't been able to upload recently, but definitely expect more videos coming soon. If you made it this far in the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I post a new video. And I will see you in the morning. Good night, y'all. Hey guys, so I am wearing my green uniform today and I know you see me with some rollers in my hair. That is because some of my, some of the ends of my twists weren't curling as much as I like them to. So my mom helped me put some rollers in. Right now I am going to finish getting dressed and then my dad is bringing back breakfast. So we'll probably eat it here and then after we eat, I'll probably have to brush my teeth again obviously. But then after that we'll head to the track. Hey guys, so I arrived at the track. Right now they're doing flight one out of four for long jump. So I'm just sitting in the stands watching them. So I make sure I don't miss my flight. 200 is like around when I need to jump. So that's not the best, but it's okay. Hopefully I get to run the 200 first, then jump because it's so much easier that way. We'll talk to you guys later. Four more heats remaining. See the athletes in their lane assignments on the lower left hand of your screen. Very good start on the outside in lane six. That's Parker Coase out of the Bolas School. Won the 100 yesterday in meet record time, 11.87. And no surprise, the meet record falls once again to Parker Coase, 24.42 for the eighth grader from the Bolas School. Twenty-four forty-two. Parker Co setting another meet record, second consecutive day after winning the hundred last night in eleven eighty-seven. Come on, baby, you got this. We just 
second and we are 19 Eight. Eight. Yes, yes. What'd you do? I got first and I PR with a 19.9. What'd you do? I got fourth and I um 78. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Right now we're waiting for our interview. We're right by the track, which is why it's so loud. But yeah, she got she got me on the last jump. I jumped it. I was like, oh, I'm good. I got this. Then she said, and she said, boom, 19.9. <laughs> but yeah. I'm just really happy that I'm over with. Oh, I did the 200 prelims PR, got a meet record, 24-4-2. So tomorrow I expect a 23, 23, 22, no, 23 definitely. At most, 24-1, 24-2. But yeah, so I will see you guys later. Hey guys, so we are back at the track. Today I only have the 200 meter finals and that's not until much later. So right now I am watching the championship boys 110 hurdles. I didn't get to talk to you guys much yesterday because we are strictly not allowed to be on our phones during long jump and since I had to jump, I mean since I had to run like mid long jump, I couldn't like tell you guys. So here's like a brief. Like explanation of what happened yesterday. So yesterday I took one out of my three jumps for the prelim and long jump, and I jumped 1805, which is a new, which was a new meet record. So I have broke the previous meet record. Then I went to go run the 200 and ran 2442, which is a PR for me, and also the meet record right now. Then after, I went ahead and passed my next two jumps so that I could get ready for the finals. Um, I don't remember what my first jump was, but I know my second jump. No, 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 no. Okay. So my first jump was 19. No, no, no. Okay. So the first jump I scratched. And then the second jump, I jumped 19. The second jump, I jumped 19.4. Then my last jump for the finals, I jumped 19.8. And so at the time, 19.4 broke the jump I had just jumped, which was the new me record. Then the 19.8 broke that. But then my friend Valencia, for the last jump, for her last jump, because she was the last jumper, jumped 19.9, which is now the current me record. Right now, I am waiting to run the 200 meter finals. Everything got pushed back to an hour due to the weather yesterday. So I won't be running until like 7 o'clock. I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so I just finished warming up for the 200 finals. I am heading back to the warm area because I have to go to the bathroom. But I am just really excited to get this over with. But I'm also excited to see what I can do in the finals. I will talk to you guys after I run. Toodles! Oh, yeah. Parker Coe's from that powerhouse Bullis. Meet record 2442 in the heats. Meet record 1187 in winning the 100. So she's going for a double. She's in lane number six. Cameron Daly 2468 in the heats. And in lane nine, Olivia Ockpan, who was second in the 100, two Coe's. She ran 2492 in the heat. So can Parker Coe's do exactly what? Our man Quintez Grimes did in these middle school and sweep the 100 and 200 sprints. And Coe's in the white got out very well. Wow, like a rocket. Coe's in six, making up the staggered everybody on her outside. And Parker Coe's just flying. Look at her go, my goodness gracious me. Parker Coe's right out of the blocks. A wire to wire win here for Parker Coe's. 23.99, she breaks 24 seconds. She set yet another meet record. Her third meet record of the meet. Congratulations to that young eighth grader. Eighth grader running 23.99. Holy smokes, 24.35. And, and Bullis, 
Bullis, the powerhouse school, Parker Coast, creating the next destiny, dynasty, I should say, creating her own destiny, nope. running 23.99, a time that would have been competitive in our championship heats. May have made just, just missed out on that final in the championship heats, but a sub 24 second 200 meters in this middle school girls championship. Congratulations, Parker Coast. All right, lucky me, I am here with two. I, lucky me, I'm here with two national championships. This one, we gonna check his birth certificate because he is running like a grown man. Let's talk about that PR today and the meet record. Um, I am thankful for uh, being here and breaking three records. Say it again. Four. I broke my own records. And I'm just thankful to be here and have this talent. I thank God and pray. Well, we gonna check that birth certificate for sure. Congratulations. All right, Parker, we got the tag yesterday. You long jumping, you sprinting, you making it happen. How are you able to come out here? I'm sure them legs ain't fresh. How are you able to come out here and get that done? Uh, thanks to my parents, honestly. I'm not 16, I don't have a driver's license, so without them, I wouldn't be anywhere. So we just talked about that. This is your opportunity. The greatest father gift that exists. Amazon can't give it to you. Go ahead, shout out your parents. Happy Father's Day! Happy Father's Day, Dad! All right, congratulations. These are your national champions right here. Parker Coast just ran 23.99 to win the New Balance Nationals Middle School 200 meter. Congratulations. Thank you. Parker, tell, talk to me about your race. You got out really strong and, and you know, how did you finish? My coaches, me, my parents, we've all been saying 23 for the last, shoot, like 23 years. I'm not even 15 yet. But I just knew that I wanted to get out strong because I have a very strong 100 But get out strong. And that last 100, just give it all I had. Awesome. As you're coming down the stretch, you see that clock ticking away. What are you going, what's going through your head in the final 50 meters of that race? Final 50 meters is just arms, arms, arms. I have a bad habit of not bringing my arms up, so I try to make sure I see them. So I'm just arms, leg, pushing down. Everything to just increase my chances. All right, nice place. Uh, me record. Uh, that time would have placed really well in the prelims for the high school girls 200. I don't know exactly what it would have been, but you know, talk to me a little bit about your expectations and, and excitement for going into your high school career next year. Well, you know, I could have done the high school group, but. I didn't want to scare them too soon, so I gave them a little kiss to take them what they got coming for them next year. And, you know, I'm just excited. You know, I'll be with my team, and hopefully we can make, I can break more records and do more things. Awesome. A long summer ahead of you. Do you have any goals, expectations for the summer? Any meets for the summer? Um, right now, it's undetermined, but my goals are definitely to progress each time I practice. Like my coach says, we're just getting started. Awesome, well congratulations. We look forward to seeing what you can do over the next four years. Thank you. Hey guys, so I just finished doing the 200 meter finals. I got first place with a new meet record of 23.99. I'm very proud of myself for breaking 24 finally. And I just want to, again, thank my parents, thank my coaches for giving me the opportunity to do that. This is the end of the vlog, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I post a new video. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye!